In the following video, we're going to examine how to solve a system of equations using the substitution method. The substitution method is used when at least one of the equations has one variable by itself or one of the equations with the variable by itself. Now, what this means is if you're going to solve a system of equations using the substitution approach, you either want to have a coefficient of one for one of the variables, or you want one of the equations solved for a variable. So this is when we're going to use the substitution method. And I'm going to show you examples of both of these. The first example, we see the equation y equals 5 minus 2x and 3x minus 2y equals 11. Now, the substitution method says plug the one equation into the other. The whole purpose of the substitution method is to have an equation already solved for a variable. And so I look at this first example, we already know y is equal to 5 minus 2x. This equation is already solved for y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 5 minus 2x and I'm going to substitute it in for y in the other equation. So when you substitute something in, the best thing to do is to put it inside of parentheses. The reason why is it allows you to see the distributive property and to make sure that you're careful with negative signs. So we have the 5 minus 2x being plugged in for y. So I have 3x minus twice. Now, instead of y, I'm going to put down 5 minus 2x, and that equals 11. So I took this expression, it equals y, so I'm going to substitute it in for y. And so now that I see the parentheses, I know I need to distribute that negative 2 to get negative 10 plus 4x. And now I just solve the equation. Combine like terms, you get 7x minus 10 equals 11, add 10, 7x equals 21, and then divide by 7x equals 3. So now we know x equals 3. So I'm going to take that value, and I'm going to substitute it in to, you could use either equation, but I'm going to use the top equation. And the reason why is because I know x, I want y. Well, y is already solved for here. So if I plug it into the top equation, 5 minus 2x, 5 minus 2 times 3, all I do is order of operations, and that is going to tell me what y equals. y equals negative 1. So the solution to this system is x equals 3 and y equals negative 1. Remember when we dealt with solving systems of equations by graphing, our solution is actually the point of intersection. And so we have the point of intersection, which is a coordinate x, y. So when you find your solution to a system of equations, doesn't matter what approach you use, whether it's graphing or substitution, you want to write your answer as a coordinate, your x value and your y value. So the solution, the point of intersection for this system is the coordinate 3, negative 1. So let's try another one. x equals 4 minus y, and x minus 2y equals negative 5. So I see in this first equation, x is already solved for. So I'm going to take the 4 minus y, and I'm going to substitute it in for the x in the other equation. So I have, instead of x, I have 4 minus y minus 2y equals negative 5. So I'm going to combine like terms. I get 4 minus 3y equals negative 5. Subtract 4, negative 3y equals negative 9, and then divide by negative 3, y is 3. So just like before, you're going to take the y value. You can plug it into either one, but again, if I use the equation where we want to find x, and x is already solved for, all I'm going to do is do order of operations. x equals 4 minus y, 
So x equals 4 minus 3, which is 1. And again, your solution is a coordinate x comma y, so 1 comma 3. And so that is the substitution method. And you can kind of see there's a pattern when doing the substitution method. You solve for one of the variables if it's not solved for already. Both the examples that we have, you know, here the x is already solved for. Number one, the y is already solved for. And when you substitute it in to the other expression, you're going to put it inside parentheses. And most of the time you end up distributing, combining like terms, and then just solving a multi-step equation. And once you get that, you know one of the two variables. So plug it in and find the other one. Just remember the solution represents a point of intersection. So write your answer as a coordinate. So that is our substitution method approach to solving a system of equations.